Hello, good morning everyone. I am Sanjana, nutritionist from Zenonco.io. Today we shall be speaking about the importance of nutritional intervention for pancreatic cancer patients. Before we go into understand what is the diet and what is the kind of nutritional in intervention which needs to be implemented for these patients. Let us first try understand what is pancreas and what it is is crucial role in our body. Pancreas is an organ which is found below the abdomen. It plays a very important role in digestion and the absorption as well. Pancreas plays an important role and it has both exocrine activity as well as endocrine activity. Now, when I say endocrine function of pancreas, it means that it helps in the production of insulin and glucagon, which are the two most important hormones which play an important role in the controlling of the sugar levels. Next is the exocrine function, which means that the pancreas plays an important role in the production of the enzymes which are required for the digestion and the absorption of the nutrients. Now let us try and understand what is pancreatic cancer and what are its signs and symptoms. Pancreatic cancer is the cancer from which the pancreatic tissues they become malignant and hence it will disrupt their functions. Common signs and symptoms of pancreatic cancer are jaundice which is the yellowish discoloration of the skin and the eyes, pain and weight loss. Generally it is difficult to diagnose pancreatic cancer because the symptoms do not uh, consistently show up at an early phase. Because of the pancreatic exocrine insufficiency, it can result in malabsorption which can lead to other complications such as jaundice or even weight loss, early satiety, nausea, vomiting, dehydration and also steaturia. Now, all of these symptoms which I listed earlier will also lead to malnutrition because the patient is having so many symptoms due to which they also experience a loss of appetite as well. In pancreatic cancer, malnutrition, cancer cachexia and loss of muscle mass are very common problems which we come across in these patients. And these are associated with the chemotherapy related toxicities and also because there and it can also lead to a reduction in the quality of life. Now malnutrition and the loss of muscle mass have been associated with an increased risk of cancer uh, chemotherapy related toxicities and also they can lead to the reduced quality of life. As I had earlier explained to you that pancreas also has an important role to play as it will release the pancreatic enzyme during the digestion process. However, because there is an altered secretion of the digestive enzymes, it can lead to a series of gastrointestinal symptoms such as bloating, pain, loss of appetite, malabsorption of the nutrients and also weight loss. All of these can have an impact on the nutritional status of the So now let us try and understand what are the nutritional interventions for these uh, patients and what kind of a diet is advised. So before that I would also like to let you know that certain pancreatic cancer patients they undergo a surgery which is called as a Whipple's procedure or a pancreodiotectinomy. Complications of these can include delayed gastric emptying, nutritional deficiencies and also weight loss. All of these again can have an impact on the nutritional status of the patients and they are again at a risk of malnutrition. 
Now let us try and understand what are the objectives of medical nutrition therapy. First of all, we need to reduce or control the nausea or the vomiting. Next, we need to ensure to maintain the weight and to help to gain weight and to prevent further weight loss. And the third and the most importantly is managing the side effect and the symptoms which these patients will undergo. As per the ESPEN guidelines, it is very important to screen, uh, to screen the patients and also to take a detailed nutritional assessment of these patients so that we can understand who are the patients at a risk of malnutrition and also we can give them timely intervention also. Now, in pancreatic patients, they also will experience chronic inflammation. As I had earlier explained, one of the major function of the pancreas is it will produce the hormone insulin. Now, because of the chronic inflammation, the beta cell, pancreatic cells are also altered due to which it can have an impact on the altered insulin metabolism. Now, insulin is an important hormone which is going to act like a lock and key for the entry of glucose into the cells because glucose is the main source of energy for the cells to function and it will also participate in various metabolic functions also. However, during this condition, there is an insulin resistance which occurs and it can also lead to a risk of um, diabetes. Hence, it is also very important to monitor the blood sugar level of these patients. Now, coming to the diet. So, generally for these patients, a normal diet has been recommended. Yes, along with a fat restriction and a low fiber diet. Now, if you will ask me why fat restriction is there, as earlier explained, pancreas also has an important role to play in the fat metabolism. It will also release an enzyme which is known as pancreatic lipase which will help in the breakdown of the fats into the smaller particles due to which the body can get the essential nutrients which is required. However, in pancreatic cancer patients, there is malabsorption of the fats because there is an altered enzymatic activity which occurs due to which the fat absorption does not take place properly and it can also lead to malabsorption of fat. This again causes uh, certain symptoms or signs like bloating or gastric discomfort or even steaturia. So therefore, it is recommended to incorporate MCTs or medium chain triglycerides as a type of fat into their diet which is also going to help in the easily digestion of the fat and MCT oil have been shown to be a source of quick energy which can be incorporated into their diet. Also, we need to ensure foods which are given which have low fiber in them. Already these patients are experiencing various side effects and symptoms like bloating or loss of appetite or even they could experience constipation issues. So the diet has to be uh, personalized as per their uh, requirements and their tolerance as well. We need to encourage them to have small frequent meals which can be easily tolerated like 5 to 6 meals in a day and generally we recommend them to also include high protein uh, powder supplements. Again when it comes to oral nutrition support we basically tell to in, uh, encourage to have supplements which are easily digestible that is they are semi-elemental in nature and they are also having MCT oil in them. So everyone to conclude, yes, diet does play an important role uh, for these patients as well. Proper medical nutrition is important uh, and crucial for mitigating the impact of the pancreatic cancer, addressing the symptoms is also very important and maintaining their nutritional status is also very important.
थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग माई वीडियो वी एट जेन ऑंको डॉट आईओ और ऑलवेज बाय योर साइट टू नेविगेट यू थ्रू योर कैंसर केयर जर्नी इन केस ऑफ असिस्टेंस यू कैन श्योरली गेट इन टच विद आर कैंसर कोचेस ऑन द बिलो मैंशन कॉन्टैक्ट नंबर थैंक यू